Hello, I'm Martin, co-owner of Woodburn Showrooms. On the Big Green Egg, I'm going to show you today how to cook a French trimmed rack of lamb. First of all, we need to score the lamb. I'm scoring it, but I want to cut through the fat, but I don't want to cut into the meat. So, a good sharp knife, essential. Okay, here, here I have olive oil. I'm going to now put the olive oil onto the, directly onto the fat of the lamb. I'm going to just mop it in, nice and generous. Like so. And now, I'm going to use Moldham sea salt flakes. I'm going to Spread a little bit of this onto the onto the fat, and then I'm just going to rub it into the fat. I'd like to uh, also tell you that we're going to be cooking roasted cauliflower directly on top of the uh, plate setter, the same way we're going to be cooking the uh, rack of lamb. I'll uh, place that in in a moment once the coals have come up to temperature and we've got some heat into the dome. Okay, I'm now going to put into the egg my plate setter. I'm going to put it in legs down, as similar as you would be if you were cooking a pizza and putting your pizza stone on the top. So I've got my plate setter in, I'm now going to shut the dome, open the daisy wheel, all the new, uh, the new wheel that you've got with your new eggs. I'm going to try and get this to about 180, 190. So I'm going to set my air controls and enjoy another glass of wine. Okay, the dome is starting to heap up quite quickly now, so we are now going to go cut from this and go and prepare a marinade ready for the uh, roasted cauliflower. My uh, partner, Michelle, who's a far better chef than me, I'd like to point out, I'm an egg enthusiast, I am not uh, a chef by any means, so rip me the threads, that's fine, I, I love the egg, I love the cooking, I love the food. I've actually lost uh, a little bit of weight from it because uh, you can eat healthy on the egg and some of our other films are going to include cooking with the new carbon steel wok and the expansion system. The egg is just not just a barbecue. The egg is a conventional cooker, an oven, a smoker, a baker, a roaster. You can do virtually anything on a commercial oven you can do on the egg. It's an amazing piece of kit. Okay, the egg's up to temperature. I'm now going to lay the, the lamb fat side down directly onto the plate setter and close the lid. I'm going to be looking at about 18, 20 minutes. Now, this is designed to be medium rare. We like ours about medium, a little bit more well done. So we're looking for a temperature around about 70, 75 for us. You could go less if you like it medium rare. Depends how you like your lamb finish, but we're cooking fat side down. We've oiled it, we've salted it, and now we're cooking it directly on the plate setter with the legs facing down. Okay, I'm just going to check the timing, see how we're doing. We've been going about 13 minutes, so I'm just going to have a little sneak. We're we'll bang on target with the temperature. That's, that's looking pretty good and this is where I'll be uh, introducing my little friend the Firmapen, the Firmapen 4, amazing bit of kit, hit 70, 74, I know that piece of meat's going to be ready to eat. Okay, I'm about 18, 19 minutes in now, so I'm going to check the temperature of the meat with my uh, Firmapen. It's looking good. It's about 78, so I'm now going to flip this meat over for a few minutes just to cook the meat on the other side. That's looking good. Nice and crispy. I'm just going to put that in the middle there. Shut my lid down. Get my temperature right again. And leave that for three or four minutes just to cook the meat nicely and check the temperature in a moment. 
Right, while the uh, meat is just crisping off and cooking on the other side, I'm now going to prep the cauliflower. So I'm going to get some more oil and I'm just going to lightly dust the cauliflower with oil. Oops, a daisy. Little dusting of oil. There goes my foil. A little bit of salt. And now, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to get my uh, meat ready to wrap in foil and leave that to stand wrapped in foil for about five minutes. Okay, timings are good. I'm just going to check the meat temperature. That's about medium for me, so that's great. My rack of lamb, I'm now going to just wrap it up in the foil and leave that to rest for five minutes. Okay, that's the, the meat's resting. I'm now going to get my temperature to about about 200 ready for the cauliflower so I'm gonna put the cauliflower in and I'm gonna cook it directly on the plate setter five minutes either side I'm gonna turn it over after five minutes it'll brown one side I'll turn it over brown the other side it'll be ready for the marinade Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to go and sort out the marinade. Uh, I'm just going to show you on the screen now the list of the ingredients, etc. It's absolutely tasty. This is not barbecue, this is big green egg. Okay, I'm just going to check the times. We're doing okay. I've just got enough time to make a small gin and tonic because cooking cauliflower is a, a, bit, of a, a bit of an art. So we're going to have uh, blood orange uh, with fever tree. Okay, this is uh, highly recommended. We, uh, we had a major panic because uh, we, we couldn't find the fever tree. All's good. They're not both mine, by the way. Okay, I'm, I'm up to five minutes, so I'm now going to check the cauliflower. We're bang on 200 degrees. Okay, I'm just going to get the egg back up to temperature. I think that's my one. Uh, I'm just going to check my timings. Yep, we're on the uh, second leg. I like my stuff well cooked, so we're going to let that go probably a little bit longer. I like things browned off. So, uh, while I knock back my uh, fever tree uh, and uh, blood red uh, orange, I'm going to keep an eye on the uh, timings. Okay, the eggs just got back up to 200. The timings are going well. About another four, four or five minutes, I think, and that'll be nicely ready for the marinade. In the meantime, I'm going to step back. Uh, I hope you can see the smokeless fire pit. It actually is smokeless. Okay, you don't you don't need a firmer pen for this bit. Just keep an eye on your timings. Uh, but when it's uh, browned off, it's going to be cooked. So uh, just keep an eye on your timings. 10, 10, 12 minutes, it should be done. Okay, I've had this on here for about 12 minutes, so I'm now going to pop it off. It looks good. It smells alright. What do we do now? Mm. If someone dish me this, I'd say that's, uh, that's a restaurant quality meal, wouldn't you? Mm. I would I'd eat that in a restaurant quite happily, wouldn't you? Mm, nice. This is this, this is lovely.